evil money. Why is money so evil and why do we grow up, a lot of us, not everybody though, think about that, money is evil. The love of money is evil. You may have grown up hearing those phrases over and over again. So take a look here and realize a few things that may have been holding you back and it may have created a limiting belief in your subconscious mind. Because when you think about it, you think, okay, you've been taught or you've been told as you were growing up, people that have money are evil. Money is evil. So therefore, if you don't have money, you're just. If you don't have money, you're good with God. If you, if you live as a pauper, you're good. Right? Have you heard that? Well, the fact is, that's not true. You were not meant to be, to be a pauper. You're not meant to be poor. You're not meant to live in squalor. So, when you look at, at money and how it affects our lives, I like to see money as a tool, always a tool. And we live our lives day by day in a good environment, a poor environment, a middle class environment, a welfare environment, it just depends. So the amount of money that you have will determine what class of environment you live in. So that could be neither good nor bad, but it can also be a mindset that you've taken on that has kept you in a lower class. So take a look at that inside yourself and give yourself the time to distinguish what part of your beliefs, what part of your teachings as a child that you came across that have stunted you in producing income or attracting income or attracting the right opportunity to you. Because too often children grow up hearing, how are we going to pay the bills? How are we going to do that? And we've all said it, you know, at one time or another in our lives, we've said it. How are we going to pay the bills? Where do you expect me to get that money from? How do you expect me to do that? Because it's a belief that when you don't have it right that minute, sometimes we don't see the fact that we can change that. We can change who we are. We can change how that is producing for us or how that is flowing for us. So a lot of adults are saying that and they're still saying it today. So if you are an adult and you've said that to your children recently, take a look at what that's causing them to do. Because... Wanting money and feeling wealth, it's good. If you want money and you feel the wealth of having money, then that's going to determine the lifestyle that you live. So as you're doing this, keep in mind, not everyone that has money is a bad person. There can be people that have a lot of money and they're really bad. There can be another group of people that have a lot of money and they're really good. Same thing with people that don't have money. There could be a group of people that they don't have any money. It's, they're just, they're poor. And they're really bad. And then you have another group of people who have no money, but they're really good. And they're good people and they help people and they spread the love. See, so it's not actually the amount of money you have. It is who you are inside. It's who you are. Because you want to live the life you want, to send your kids to the best schools, to give them clothes and shoes and, you know, activities and you know, different sports and different things like that for school. You're going to see that that's a lifestyle. And right now, you may not be living the lifestyle that maybe you dream of living one day. Let me tell you this right now. One day never comes. If you're saying, one day we'll have that income. One day we'll have that house. One day I'll have that good job. One day... One day never comes. One day is a figment of an imagination that you don't want to have. So when you see people that are good, that are prospering, and they're teaching online, and they're giving you insights, and they're giving you a chance to change your mindset and to grow, don't you think that would be beneficial for you to get involved with that and to jump on it and say, hey, 
that's exactly what I need. Because in scripture, if you look at scripture, it states that money is not evil. It is how you use money that makes it evil. And it's how you are as a person that would make it evil. Money is not evil. God gave us the ability to barter, which is trading off different things for different services. It's the same thing with money. You have to trade a service to, in order to receive more of what you want. When you can trade that service, then you'll find that you will get more opportunities come your way. It could be a little bit. It could be a lot. It could just be, you know, minute to start with. But the more you believe and the more you use your skills and imagination, the more you will bring forward. So having a lot of money does not mean you're a good person. Having a not a lot of money does not mean you're a bad person. Having a lifestyle that you're happy with will produce you to have a good attitude. And you will have the ability to give more. But you do not have to have money to be, to be a good person. Be a good person being who you are right now inside of you. And always, always guys, use money as a tool. Use it as a tool to help you grow and prosper. And use it as a tool to keep your lifestyle growing and to keep you learning new skills, getting educated. You know, whatever you need to do to take your life to that level. And I don't mean spend your whole life going to class or going to school. I mean self-education is the best way. Because you don't have to go to a school. You can do it right there in groups like us. And we teach you and help you. To learn how to do a mastermind, to learn how to build courses, to learn how to grow your income, and all the above. If you're meant to be wealthy, and I believe you are, as it states in scripture, we're all meant to live a happy, wealthy life. Then I want to just recite this. It's from Peter 5.7. I give my anxiety to God, and I know that God will take, take them because God loves me. This gives me peace so simple it's so simple right there if you're spending all of your time fretting and worrying about how you feel and every ache and pain you have in your body you're just going to bring more of that back on yourself so learn by your mindset learn by where you're going and what you're doing and how this is going to help you the more you learn with your mindset and how you're changing things and how you're growing the easier it's going to be for you to get to that level of i've got this it doesn't matter. I am going to do this. I am making the amount of money I need to give me the lifestyle I choose to have. And as you choose to have something, don't you think you're taking the opportunity that comes to you, the option to learn and grow and to keep prospering? You're taking that wholeheartedly and you're taking that to the heart, so to speak, because it's just all about getting out there and doing that. But if you keep complaining every day about everything that's wrong with you, and you focus on, oh, well, well, I did this and I or I did that. That's not going to do you any good because you're still focused on the problem. So let the problems go. And I believe it was Wallace D. Waddles that did, they did a um, study here some years ago, uh, several years ago, thousands of people. And they studied on the quantum physics of the energy and what people were believing and the words they were saying and which turned into what they were feeling. So uh, that's all part of, is money evil? Are your feelings evil? So the more people that thought about that and the more in tune they got with what they were believing and how they were feeling, the more they learned that, yes, you know what? I was doing this to myself. I was creating this barrier. I was creating this belief that stopped me from getting to the next level, to getting to where I wanted to be. And it was really an interesting interesting study if you have a chance definitely look at that i believe it's wallace d waddles that did that that was back in the day but it's really intuitive because it explains neuroscience so much and how we tend to grab on to certain energies and we say we're letting it go we say we're doing that but yet in the same point we're not we're just we're holding on to it and we're making it worse and worse and worse so as you're doing that and you're getting there and you're going hey I'm working on this, but why is it not working? This is not working for me. Don't say that because you don't know what's working in the background because you're not letting it happen. 
So take it to that next level and do that for yourself. Do it for your family. Do it for the peace of mind of everything around you because you know what? The money is not evil. The thing is, what's evil is the fact that you're taking yourself down the rabbit hole over and over again and that's not good. You don't want to be down that rabbit hole at all. So look at what you want. Focus on the desires you have and take the lifestyle you want and look at it and say, hey, I'm doing this and this, I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this for my family. I'm doing this for the people around me. I'm doing this for my community, whatever it is. But have a solid inspiration or imagination, that's even better, of what you're doing and what it looks like. The more you can envision what something looks like that you're doing, that you want to have happen, the easier it will come and come to fruition for you. So think about that and use your imagination and just remember, money is a tool. It is not evil. 